for this tutorial, uh, I want to show you how to set up your scene so that uh, when an object collides with another object, it will make some type of audio sound. Okay, so I've already downloaded some audios that I'm going to use, uh, and then uh, and I've already set up the scene so that I'm able to move this object. So if you notice, here's a sphere, and um, here's a movement script, and we can look at that later on. And then uh, it's just a plane right now. And so one of the first things in terms of setting up uh, the object it's going to collide with is that this is set to is trigger. So on the mesh collider, I have it as trigger, and I have a trigger script. And we'll look at that also. So again, this has the trigger script and is set to is trigger. Okay. And I'll just add the audio uh, part of it into uh, the script and into the plane. All right. So first of all, we need to have an audio source. So this is when, again, a sphere, when a sphere collides with the plane, which I'll be able to move it. So right now, this is how it's set up. So when I go into the play mode, I'm able to move my sphere, collides with it. Notice here, it tells us if the sphere has entered the cube, sphere is sphere still in the cube, and has exited the cube. Okay, so if it's still in there, you'll notice the numbers increase over here. And when it collides, it shows that it collides. So remember, it's, it's collapsing, so that's why we're seeing only the numbers here. Okay? All right, so basically right now, is, this is all it's doing. All right, so let's look at the, the scripts. So here's the movement script. Okay, very simple. Set, uh, set up to, you know, so that it's reading the mouse movements and then it's taking these variables and substituting the numbers here so they move in the X and Y axis in terms of moving the sphere. Remember, this is placed on the sphere. Okay. All right, so now what we have uh, over here in, I don't need this script right now. So, anyway, so in the trigger, uh, you'll notice that we've set up we set it up within the trigger class. So on trigger enter, we set this up as a collider in the parameters other, so another object, and then I've you know set this up so that um, when it does uh, detect collision of another object, that it tells me the name of the other ob or you know that has uh, the other object has entered the, the the cube okay so that's what's going to show up in the console the name of the object and then the string and then so then we have on trigger stay and then on trigger exit all right so what i want to do is that when it collides initially collides with it so i'll use on trigger enter so when initially collides, we'll have it, um, you know, have the audio uh, sound off, okay, or have the audio play. Okay, so first of all, uh, we need to reference the audio source. Oh, actually, before we do that, we need to have the audio source in um, our object. So let's go back over here to our plane. We're going to select the plane. Uh, you'll notice that, uh, again, this is where the tr trigger script is, and that's what we're going to modify. And so now I'll add a audio source component. So you would just maybe type in audio, and it would come up here, uh, in different audio sources, different uh, audio components. And here's audio source that we want to use. Okay, scroll down. All right, so now uh, I'll look for the clip, the audio clip that I want to use. So I'll just click on here, and it should look find the audio clips in the assets folder. And it does. If it doesn't, you can always just click and drag it onto here. And we'll use the explosion one. Okay, so now it's the explosion is set up as the audio. Now, keep in mind, if I 
start this up right away and I leave play on wake, this is what will happen. Nothing's collided, but the audio plays, right? Okay, as you just heard. So we need to make sure to uncheck play on awake. So now if I play, notice we don't hear the uh, the audio. And if I move this, nothing happens. No audio sounds off or anything like that. Okay, so now we've added the component. So now we can reference it and you know have get access to it through our script. Okay, so first thing we need to do, as I said, is reference uh, the uh, audio source. This audio source, and then we should give it a instance uh, to use it. We'll give it an instance name. Let's call it again. Source. All right. So we'll make sure to use this uh, when we want to call or reference our audio source component. All right. So that's you know again within our class. Again, notice if when I click here, this is highlighted, and the last curly brace is highlighted. So it's within our class, but not within any of the uh, <clears throat> the triggers of uh, functions, okay, or methods. All right. So now, though, we do want to uh, call it up when um, it detects that another object has. Uh, collided with it okay so that's when we want to call up uh, the audio source or we want it to play it all right but before that actually right when we start um, well, right when we uh, open it up open up our game or play our game we want to have we wanted to um, get the the audio source component okay so so what we need to do is uh, use the um, instance name here that we referenced that and so we're going to we want to call it up so or actually uh, like I said we're going to um, make sure that it has access to it so get component and then so we want to get the audio source component and make sure you put the two parentheses open and close but make sure you get the chevrons in here okay and then some might call it all right so now we are making sure that right when we open it up um it has uh it's, it's you know it has detected the uh, audio source okay so then now we want it to to play when we wanted to play when the object has detected a collision so the plane has detected the sphere has hit it okay so it's very simple again we're going to just use our instance name that we set up 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 here dot play that simple so the play is a function that we can use uh, to to call it up. All right, so that should do it. Let's do um, let's build our script. Okay, uh, let's go back to Unity. All right, and let's give it a shot. So notice when I make a collision with it. Even though I stay within it, nothing happens, but we see the number keeps increasing. When we exit it, nothing, you know, we don't hear the audio, only when we make a collision with the plane. Okay, so that's it.